Yeah, before you thought this video, can I, can I, can I put this blade on here? Some of y'all might know what this is. Uh, I'm going to put it on these clippers right here. You know what I'm saying? Just because it got a slow motor and I don't have ceramic blade on it. Like how I got these or these other ones. So I'm going to put this on here real quick. Alright, so we got this blade on it. Got the blade on it. Ceramic. Alright. So I really was supposed to become my brother, but you know, it's 12. It's kind of late to do a haircut because he got school tomorrow in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna let's, let's just get right into this video. Let's just get right into this video, alright? Hit the intro, okay? Yeah, it's the way! Alright y'all, so now we got all that, all that out the way. Today I'm gonna be talking uh, about why why I'm not in the barber shop. Like right? now I'm not gonna be disrespectful. None of the barbers in my city. I'm still a youngin, you know what I'm saying? I understand most of these people are grown men, so we're gonna keep it cool, alright? But uh yeah, so uh, let's get into it. Number one, I have me being young, I cutting out of my room. It provides a safe environment for kids, moms. You know, where I live at, I live in the hood. So you got moms that go in the barber shops, you know, they don't like to be get hitting on and stuff like that. And talk, talk to, and they don't want to be talked to. Right? They just want to get in, get their son haircut, get out. Some moms don't like going to the barber shop when they can just, you know, come to me, you know, come to my room. That safe environment got kids, safe music. Now, I'm not saying all barber shops are like that, but most of them are, most of them are from where I live at. And I, Cause I live in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Buffalo is full of businessmen, alright? So when they see somebody like me that's young and doing good at what I'm doing for how old I am and how long I've been cutting, they see money. People try to get me in, they shop all the time. And you know what I'm saying? There's no disrespect. Some some barbers just, I'm not gonna say barbers, some businessmen just do what they need to do to get money. And I respect it, because shoot, I would do the same thing.
third reason, alright? In the barbershop, they like to talk a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot. A lot goes down in the barbershop. Alright, you know me? I'm I'm what you would call antisocial. Alright. I just if I don't know you, I'm not gonna talk to you. Alright. If I don't know you, I'm I'm not it's not like it's not like I'm being mean or nothing, but just like I'm not gonna talk to you. Like you have to say something to me, like really get a conversation. For my clients, it's kinda like I have to because my clients like that's what they look for. They look for the service and the conversation. All right, so it's different. My client, when you in the shop, you got people walking in just to talk and stuff like that. Everybody in there, everybody in the barbershop loud in the conversation. I right, remember when I cut here, I just like to cut my people in out talk here and there, you know, just make them comfortable, just to make them like, you know, just seem like, alright, they finna get this cut, talk a little bit, in and out. I mean, when, don't nobody wanna be in the shop for that long, long time, man. Right? Barbers in Buffalo like to use other people's stuff. I this is this is just what I know from growing up in in my in my city and go in the hood barbershops. Like these barbers like they would actually use your stuff and then I'm not saying everybody, y'all people y'all know who y'all is. Some barbers, you know, they like to share share their stuff with them. Alright, now me being young, y'all see my stuff. Most shops in my city do not have that type of stuff in their shop. So when they see my stuff, they be like, oh, what's these? And nah, you be trying to use it. As soon as they break it, they're not gonna wanna replace it. Cause who go, who wants to spend $300 on some clippers for a 16 year old barber? Who, who gonna do that? Nobody. That is, that's it, y'all. Hopefully, it's a short video. I ain't nothing too crazy. Just had to come up with another video. Because I know people are asking me why am I not in the shop. So, if you ask me that question, there it is. Now you know I'm not in the shop. Alright. Now, I do get a lot of questions on how to get my trimmers and um, liners to hit sharp. I'm go I am going to be doing a video on that. So, uh, stay tuned for that. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Follow me on IG. At wavyk underscore cav, and uh, we basically go. Deuces.